Honorable member from Charlottetown, Brighton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our island tourism and cultural industry generates millions of dollars each year and creates tens of thousands of jobs in communities across the island. However, tourism on the island is going to look very different in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. This year, restrictions on travel will mean that tourism operators will need to rely largely on the patronage of islanders. Inevitably, uh, there will be a downturn in business. So it's vital that the provincial government does everything it can to support the tourism and cultural industry during what will be a difficult 2020. However, the effects of COVID-19 will also affect business in 2021 and maybe even 2022. With this in mind, it is clear that the province, together with the tourism and cultural industry, will need to rethink its approach to hospitality and visitor experiences in the face of social distancing guidelines, limits on mass gatherings and requirements for self-isolation. Fortunately, there are many opportunities to support tourism that abides by such public health guidelines. If you look at activities where we can stay two meters apart, we have abundant options on the island. We have endless beaches, great waters for wind and kite surfing, rivers for kayaking, canoeing, trails and winding roads for biking and walking, and of course all those precious opportunities for culture, food and drink. All local, all sustainable, all healthy and all enjoyable, and all really include proper, could all include proper social distance. By encouraging long-term visits, we can ensure visitors have time to properly self-isolate while still having a chance to enjoy our beautiful province. These changes could also help reduce the carbon footprint of the uh, tourism industry. Uh, for example, one tourist flying here for a 10-week stay on PEI uses only one-tenth of the energy needed for 10 tourists coming only for a week each. And isn't it lucky that the same long-term tourist is also 10 times less likely to bring COVID-19 here when compared to 10 short-term tourists? Let's promote and offer solar-powered cottages and electric cars for a complete package of sustainable and safe services. COVID-19 will be with us this year and next. It's time to promote sustainable and long-term tourism, which also inherently is safe against COVID-19 threats. We want people to stay so long that they'll never want to leave again. Thank you.